Hey. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> we need a better, a better trademarkable intro. Um, we, we've got the one where I always say like, "Hey Ben," and, and, I, you, you and go, I say what? And you go, "Hey," like really ages later. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so we're here and we've got the, the we're playing Norse again. So don't QQ because we've got Norse. Um, but it's the special Norse. Yeah. The new expansion. The They're out. The proper Norse, not like the homemade moonshine Norse. Yeah, we were that playing we had before. before. That were a bit, a bit goofy. Um, no, you... now there's uh, Marauders. I'm led by I'm King Throg, the Troll King, uh, nice. Drew King in the North. I always knew you were a troll. Oh man, it's so true. Now it's official. Um, man, I fucking love me a bit <laughs> wow. of troll. Uh, yeah, I always, I always thought you fancied yourself a bit. I, I really do. Um, I'm just such a great guy. Okay. How to make friends and influence people. By King Ben. By King Ben. King Ben the Bold. Uh, you see, I follow a different rule rule book. Um, oh. It was written by uh, some people you might be familiar with. They're called the Brothers Doomborn. <laughs> and I follow their <laughs> tales their to wise the letter. Teachings. Yes. Um, I'm pretty sure that you have to take them very literally and just do exactly what they did. Um, it's not some kind of thing like a. It's not a warning, is it? Oh, it's a guideline. It's a guidebook. Yes. And that's what cautionary tale means. Yes. Because if you don't follow it, you will need to take caution. Yeah. Check. So Throg's like the smartest troll who ever lived, right? Okay. I still don't know how smart that makes him. Because <laughs> most trolls are like clinically retarded, right? Like they, yeah, just uh, uh, like stupid than, than dogs or things like that. Like they're really super dumb. Was Trog like the first troll that realised if he said he was king, others would follow him? I think so. Is that how he became king? Yeah, just by being like, I'm the king. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, uh, I wanted to uh, be king. Uh, I wish I was king. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're the king. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, th I think that's probably... Well, that's kind of like how, how it works in history, right? Um, I guess most people just go, yeah, sure. Um, and if anyone says no... Like, the first guy you say it to, he's like, the king, what's the king? And you're like, oh, it means I'm in charge. And they're like, oh, I don't like the sound of that. And you beat them up. And then <laughs> yeah. they have to come with you, and they help you beat up the next person. Ah, uh, so you start small. Yeah, yeah. Get big. Um, so I imagine the first couple of weeks was him just going around beating up his mates uh, and just telling them each that he was king. One at a time, not letting them, like, confer in between. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bam, suck it, Noggle Floggings. <laughs> uh, so you're going to, like, marry his daughter or something to, like, cement the um, leadership over the yeah, clan? Yeah, I'm going to marry his daughter to one of my trolls. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm guessing he won't eat her immediately. Who knows? Maybe you save her for pudding. Sometimes being eaten immediately is better. <laughs> yeah. And in this province... Um. Oh, shit the bed. <laughs> you can't have fucking bread parties. Oh no, what's the troll version of a bread party? Like, there just isn't a thing. Oh, what, no options at all? There's no <laughs> options. <laughs> oh shit. Uh. I don't know how to bread party. Oh, fuck. I wanted a bread party. Okay, right, well... Trog just just announced, Let the bread party begin! And all the trolls looked around and went, What? What's bread? What's, what's party? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> He's using big words again. <laughs> oh, man. I bet he does run into some trouble every now and again. It must be really frustrating. <laughs> yeah. to, like, Being the most intelligent person you know. Yeah. Yeah, that right, would right. suck. Oh, Uh, not something that I can really empathise with, to be no. honest. Sounds like, sounds like first world problems to me. Yeah. So if I were to say, picture a damsel, Tom, what comes to mind? Uh, Maybe a damsel in distress. A damsel in distress. Oh, uh, she'd be wearing like a like a white dress. It might be a little bit torn at the the bottom. Uh, she'd be kind of. Um, Sort of like lying on her side, sort of, with one hand up to like her brow. Um, 
and, okay. and saying hark a lot. <laughs> so you're sort of describing Princess Leia in the Death Star s- a, holding a, cell. A bit like that, but um, more more old timey looking. She wouldn't have yeah. her hair up in buns. She'd probably have like long, longer blonde hair. Cool. So it, you don't immediately think of like a grey haired 50 year old scowling woman. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? That isn't my initial thought. <laughs> Whose only trait can be described as sneaky. <laughs> what am I calling this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Old sneaky Maud. <laughs> oh, the spinster. Crack hatchet face. Does she have like 50 cats? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, oh, is she a damsel? Because, um, you know, she's never... Because she's never been married. She's never done the deed, <laughs> ah, uh, so to I speak. See. I think so, by default. Um, that makes so you that, a damsel. That's my damsel. Oh. Crag hatchet face. Crag, sneaky crag hatch, <laughs> hatchet face. She's, she's what I got. Holy um, shit. It's a weird one, but I'll allow it. Uh, income from raiding, minus 50%. Right, that one, because I'm not doing a lot of raiding. At the Battle moment. time is oh. speedy. That was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Throg what? is fucking amazing. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he up to? Uh, when you do stuff, like, so I just like said, like, oh, build, build some guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he just goes, that was my idea. <laughs> uh, and had one earlier where he said, oh, I was going to do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Throg. Oh, Throg. Right, I've had a thing come up. Unpeasant business. Oh. A churlish peasant. And has had the snivelling gall to throw a noble from his horse. <gasps> Whew, he has naturally been hanged by the neck until dead. <laughs> <laughs> so that no one else thinks to act rebelliously. Okay. That gives me plus eight loyalty in every province wow. for, the next, for the next 15 turns. 15 turns plus eight loyalty because you hung a single peasant. <laughs> yeah, they'll learn their place, Tom. Shit the bed. They will learn their place. And it's in the dirt. Wow. Oh, oh no. I've doomborned. What happened? I saw that um, I had Crag Hatchetface sco- scouting out um, oh, is that Marienburg. So I was like, ah, oh, his army's off somewhere else. <laughs> so I marched into to storm Marienburg undefended. And it turns out old Emil von Corden was sneaking about like a dishonorable peasant. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait a second. What's, what's your lady called? Crag. Crag Hatchetface. Crag Hatchetface. Yeah. I, I used to know. She used to live down the end of the road from me. Oh, you just knew her as crazy cat lady, I knew her as old woman Doomborn. (gasps) Oh, no! (laughs) (laughs) Um, Oh, no more scouting for you, Crag. (laughs) Oh, my God. I don't even get to have her in in my army. The point was, I'd march up to her. She'd jump into the army, and then I'd storm the castle. So she's... Not only has she led me into an ambush, <laughs> she's not even here to die in the ambush. Oh no. Oh, old woman Doomborn. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, she's like been reincarnated or is a long lost relative of the Doomborn. I think, I think she's their mum. Oh no, of course. Well, that's, that explains it all because after this battle... I'm exiling her and her children. Oh, to the north. Uh, to you want to send north. her up here. I'll, yeah. I'll have her. She can come and join me. <laughs> and her children can grow up in the cold north. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. So is this like, um, this is a prequel? This is Doomborn Origins. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, but that sounds really bad because that sounds like it doesn't work out very well for King Trog, King of the Trolls. As, <laughs> well, because um, he wasn't in the original film. He, he wasn't in the original, so definitely this invasion of the Empire goes very badly. Mm, yep, sounds about right. Oh, fuck. This is why pre- prequels suck. Oh, you can work God. out what's going to happen. Because you already know everything. That'll learn you. I just got a message saying, ambush the discovered. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. Do you reckon a scout has been like riding around and he's just like turned up, you're covered in blood, and he's like, Sir, my lord, 
There's ambushes. I saw them. I, I got lost on the way back to tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy's getting hung. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just say nothing. He's like, oh, I guess I'll just hang myself. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh poor peasant. Peasanty peasant face. Oh man, the orcs burnt down my little salt pile and they left a smelly troll face. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I didn't know that was in the thing. A troll's face made out of poo could be an intimidating thing to come across. Wow. Is that, is that actually um, what it says? That's what it says. It's, con it's minus five control, minus 50% income. What? What, do you have to get, like, destroy? Oh, do yeah, they build it, that? They, well, no, it's still my territory, oh. but it's now, like, a dead building slot that costs 500 to demolish. <laughs> oh, shit, because you have to pay people to go in there with fucking, like, hoes <laughs> and pickaxes. And... <laughs> yeah, and chop down the poo pile. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. And there's a, um, there's a Beastman warband cruising around raiding in that territory as well. The territory's called the Wasteland, and you know what? They're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> They're not fucking wrong. We'll see how it goes. Men at arms, though not noble or powerful like knights, these men take great honour to take up their arms in defence of their home. Yes, they are paid in honour. <laughs> wow. <laughs> for that is reward alone for service to your king. Good job, honourman. Man, feudal societies suck. Do you think? It's basically slavery. Yeah. Like peasants and serfs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, your, the lord literally owns them. Yeah, it's not not the best one, is it? Like, toward the end of it being a thing in Europe, um, peasants, like, wanted to, just, like, move to other places to, like, earn better wages um, in, like, the up-and-coming, like, industry. Yeah, yeah. And uh, kings or princes, like, would often just forbid, you can't leave your town ever without special permission, and if you try to, we'll hang you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just brutal. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a nuts, nutso system. Pretty good for the guys at the top, I suppose. Exactly. And it's like a pyramid scheme. They're the ones with all the power. And why would you want to let go of that? Oh. Oh, power's the best. So good. <laughs> Delicious power. Oh shit, you've got a fucking horse. Shields are for cowards! Oh my god! Oh! That felt a bit like <laughs> cheating. Well, I'm a nobleman. A nobleman <laughs> cannot be left without his horse. You, sir. Would, would have a horse if you were a noble. Man, you're super, super bashing me around. Yeah, why wasn't he doing this last time? Oh my god, <laughs> that fuck, this fucking tactic is, seems a bit op. <laughs> oh my god, this is why nobles have horses. Yeah, like, shit the bed. Von Croden, Corden, get your, um, get your shit together, mate. Yeah, I guess where he's like the, he's, he's a Spanish mercenary, he's like a Tilian mercenary, right? Oh, yeah, That's yeah. All we decided. Yeah, so, I um, think so. I guess they don't fight with horses where he's from. No, no. He's like a duelist fighting in ah. the streets. Uh, shit, man. Really, really bad duel. Oi! <laughs> you, oi! <laughs> shit. Guys, Fuck. he saw the rules. It's the the ruse. It's a ruse. He saw the rules. The ruse, the ruse. March. Honor is forsaken. Open fire. Open fire. <laughs> Open fire. <laughs> the lady's shield shall protect me. <laughs> oh. Get out of there. Oh, my, war, my general's fleeing. Should have known we could have not trusted men without honor. Oh shit. Oh man, I, oh, I got a good few Pegasus Knights. <laughs> got a couple of good hits in, did yeah. you? Yeah. Oh. Very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that but, poor, poor Why do you hate Pegasus so much? It's just because they're a fun unit for you, Ben. <laughs> oh, right. And this, this, playing this game is not about having fun. No, it's about upsetting each other's fun. <laughs> Because therein lies the most fun. Yeah, yeah. They're going to chop. Um, Chopper's going to chop. Right, I'm going to seek you out, Eben. No. Coming for you, Eben. No, no, no. Ye without honor. No, 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 no. He's fleeing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm bogged. I'm bogged. Bogged by peasants. Out of my way! Get out of my way, you filthy you cur! <laughs> Your betters are coming through! <laughs> Stand aside, I'll be hung! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the mass route. Oh, oh, I've got one unit. They're routed. Victory! 
I'm coming for you, Evan. No. I'm coming. No. I'm coming. Fuck. <laughs> Here I come. Oh. Come on. Come on. Da -da -da -da. Blow. Blow. Oh. Oh. oh, he survived it. He didn't do the jumping horse oh. attack. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, of course, a coward has improved rear armor. You chopped his head off. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I was cheeky, right? I left all my infantry building the battering rams, and then I pulled my knights yeah. back to my homeland so they would get a, a turn of healing while the peasants built the battering ram, because all my knights were, like, at half strength. And he's the warrior priest of Marienburg has taken his chance. Oh, that fucking the drunkard. drunkard is, he's making a sally forth. Oh, I love a good sally forth. While my knights aren't man. there. Um, let's fight it. I mean, oh, shit. It's pretty even. <laughs> Pretty even. Well, that's what my screen says. Have you seen these fucking armies? What, you've got halberdiers, Tom? Remember, they're good. Oh, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking time. Um, I'm still I'm unsure. You've got a lot of fucking yeah, archers. Mine are all peasants. Uh, I have not a knight oh, amongst them. I need to get into your force so fucking quickly. Man, Rutschel Braun, I remember this guy. Yeah. He's just been, like, he's been out in, like, you know, there must be, in Marienburg, I bet there's a really big market mm -hmm. square. Just picture this, gigantic market square, like, you know, it's a few hundred feet um, mm -hmm. wide, buildings all around it, and this is, like, prime real estate. Everyone comes here mm. to trade, um, you know, all on market the, days. The, the burgers are there. And yeah, the uh... People selling their fucking hot pies. I don't mean like and the, things the like German that. tradesmen. Oh, no. oh shit! I was thinking like meaty um, sandwich, uh, kebab he likes, <laughs> and things like that. But um, all the, you know, I bet you know on a Friday night, Saturday mm -hmm. night, this is when you guys are outside building your mm -hmm. rams, and they just put out trestle tables. Everyone's getting drunk. There's all these big bars and stuff mm -hmm. around. He's out there drinking one yeah. night, and he's quite like a charismatic vocal character. He stood up on the mm -hmm. table, getting fucking hammered. And he just convinces everyone. He's like, lads, there's guys, they're here. They're going to fucking smash down our fucking walls. Shall we just go kick, kick the shit out of them? They're a bunch of peasants. <laughs> these, all these fucking French toffs. Oh, we're drinking wine. But we've got good fucking empire beer. And I reckon he's just rounded oh, up. Oh, shit. So it's not even like a the, load of fucking the drunkards. castle commander. It's literally just this guy no. off his own back. Yeah, like, but that's it. I don't have a proper commander. It's a warrior priest. These guys aren't generals. Oh, man. You're right, you don't have a proper lord. I like this, man. I am so How's sold. How's he even leading that army? I don't... Rutschel Braun, Ben, everyone's fucking hammered right now. And um, we are... Oh, man. We've got, like, this is you know... the charge of the drunken brigade. Like, Lagerlouts coming <laughs> to get you. <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually scared. Legit. Oh. Legit for realsies. Scared. Oh, man. I am... I'm Man, I can't lay my stakes out. I, um, this is my new ally. Do you remember I um, I had a marriage, a diplomatic marriage to uh, marry my oh, daughter yeah. into the Stellar Artuarian uh, dynasty? Oh shit, how's that working well, out for you? this army is what I bought with my marriage. Is there a creepy there's, uncle? Um, Chilfroy. Chilfroy. He's, my, he's, he's apparently a Bretonian lord, but he's standing on foot like a fucking peasant. Oh. Look at this guy. He's... Is he better than drunk as fuck Rutschel Brown? Well, obviously. I mean, he's a he's a purebred Bretonian nobleman, so he's better than any of your empire scumbags. Man, I'm just I'm just gonna put it put it out there mm -hmm. now. I'm gonna put my uh, you know eggs in the basket. I'm gonna win this game, Ben. You reckon? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I've What's I've your got secret? this. You're gonna see. You're gonna see in a second, uh, a few minutes, but. I'm gonna win this. That's bold, bold claim for a for a drunkard. Yeah. Exactly. Wait, are you talking about me or the general? But. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like how owners end up looking like their dogs. Oh. Players end up oh, looking no. like their characters. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shit. So what? What was the last army? So you were playing Skaven last of all, or was your last one a Chaos Army? Uh, what in the in the tabletop game? It was yeah. Skaven. It was the last army. Okay. Man, and so you had the you had like a grey seer. Yep. Um, so I don't know. You don't really look that much like a grey seer. No. Well, my army before that was um, a lizardman army with a slan general. Okay. Um, you don't really look I, that much like a. <laughs> I'm not really a, a like a super fat bloated Jabba the Hutt kind of 
guy. Uh, although I can picture you being sat there. You're quite a good tactician, just being like, yes, move forward, my men, kill them. Like, you oh, know, with just, just, just like a blink of your flicking eye. Flicking my wrist um, and sending my legions forth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, I, I can, can get I think that's why I identified with Slan. They're so they're, chill. They're, they're cool guys. Like, really super relaxed. They're just like, mad, they're hypnotoads crossed with the that robot in Futurama who, like, sits in the chaise long all day. Oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, sort of, like, um, uh, like, kind of Roman senator type. Yeah, Greek. yeah, like, debauchism bot or whatever he's called. Yeah, I yeah. Can't remember. Oh, I like, I like that <laughs> yeah. guy. He's just like, wonderful. Mm, yeah. He's just pouring, like, oil over himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy was, oh. He was a good, he was a good dude. Him. Man, I fucking love Futurama. Vincent Le Guardian. Oh. Fame from the Guardian household. They have never lost a battle in defense. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. 40,000 orc archers. The fuck. <laughs> Pretty grim. Nice. Shit. Because of the big smelly troll face, Marienburg's actually, like, super unhappy. I'm going to have a rebellion next turn. Yeah? Wow. You, like, never have rebellions. I'm yeah. all about rebellions, Ben. It's it's because of the, the massive orc army that's just building smelly troll faces. Oh. <laughs> and I've let, I abandoned that salt pile for too long. Oh, shit. Um, Man, there's, like, a really fucking artistic orc with those guys, <laughs> like... You know what would look amazing over here? Just a giant fucking smelly troll face. Like, we have so much dung right now, and we could make just a masterpiece. <laughs> it's really going to upset the locals. <laughs> and that is what we are all about. People will come from far and wide to be upset by this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just go out of their way. Like, they live miles away and never heard about it before. They're like, we're going to go along just to really... Really get our knickers in a twist. We really want to get pissed off about something. <laughs> Smelly troll face is what we're going to get upset by. <laughs> and they'll like it. Oh, but Toddy! Toddy! Toddy's here! Ben, how are you doing, you old fucker? <laughs> Good to see you, Toddy. <laughs> fuck! I'm off to fuck some Norse in a minute. <laughs> do you want to do something with me? He says, it's Festag. We should consider a treaty between us. He's got just the best moustache. I forgot how good his moustache is. It's fucking Festag, Ben! <laughs> Toddy, non-aggression. I agree, Toddy. Let's not have any hostilities. <laughs> Let's fuck the Norse up together. Good suggestion, Toddy. I was about to say the same thing. It's me, fucking Toddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Toddy, you know there's this troll in the North <laughs> calls himself King. Sounds like a fucking dickhead, Ben. <laughs> he is, he is a dickhead. Let's go and fuck him up. <laughs> go tell him that to his face, Toddy. Oh, shit, Toddy's going to fucking come for me, isn't he? <laughs> ah, Shilfroy, he's earned his horse. Oh, shit, Gretz. Huzzah. I will. It was all that orc slaying he did. Yeah. Do you think someone was just really embarrassed and like, he was like, they saw him like chasing after orcs. Like, don't worry, I'll get them. And they're like, oh, <laughs> they're like, oh my God. Just, buy, just buy the fucking kid a horse. <laughs> like, this is really, really awkward. I know his dad. And <laughs> like, the, the kid just, just can't run. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Chilfroy. Aww. Enough money to uh, give them all spears. Oh, spear oh. guys. Get Crag back in the army. Okay, right. Diploma size. Oh, great. So who am I at war with? Uh, attitude. I'm at war with Lacrell. Yeah. And Lawood Elves. Mm, doesn't want peace. Well... You too. <laughs> I think you fuck the wood elves. So what can the empire do? Yeah, shall I just go and beat him up? Yeah, I don't know. Do you reckon you can? Mm. Um, the mm. Bretonian knights are quite effective against wood elf archers. Oh yeah, I bet they are. It's actually like a really good um, matchup for me, right? Uh, just watch out if they have like eternal guard. They'll make you make your knights sad. Welcome uh, to okay, fair Let me try. Bretonia. Shall I confederate the up the lionese? Yes. Sure. Uh, give me some of your money. <laughs> How about that? 
Uh, are you asking to, for them to pay you to confederate? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> oh, so you're marrying like your son to one of their daughters? You're getting the yeah, dowry. Yeah, I want the dowry. Nice. Exactly. Um, is it worth the sad times just for that one province? Maybe I can. Welcome to oh, remember, you don't get sad times as Bretonians. You get are happy you times. Do? Oh, of course. Okay, uh, Senor Bordeaux. Um, how do you feel about oh, this? Oh, how can I help you, Le Ben? <laughs> Give me your finest wines. Uh, you can have a finest wine. Oh, okay, I'm getting a dowry from him, 900 bucks. And have some money, my daughter. <laughs> she is hideous. <laughs> Let me smooth the uh, <laughs> wedding night <laughs> with my paychecks. Uh, we will get you some very drunk. You will not notice her disfigured face. She looks like Troll from uh, North. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, cool. Well, you're definitely going to win this, but... I'm going to try and kill your mammoth. <laughs> oh. Not your like this. <laughs> your mammoth with a f fancy flag on it. Oh, yeah, I put a flag on it. Plus 10% or well, plus 10 armor piercing. Mm. Shit, you would have thought mammoth pretty armor piercing already. Yeah, yeah, but now they've got like, you know... Uh, Spikes underneath his foot. Depleted foot. uranium tips <laughs> on his... Uh, Ooh. So not only am I going to get flattened by the foot, but I'm also going to get impaled by it yeah. as I get flattened. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, the war mouth. Oh, I'm excited. I've always, this, I've like, always been a sucker for big war. Early, war early tier, tier war mammoth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, the trash one. Has it got a howder? No. Nope. Is it like just a crazy mammoth following some blokes around? Uh, I think it's just. Uh, no, I think there's like a beastmaster, like the guy with the um, the rancor in Star Wars. So if you, oh. so if, just so you know, Ben, if you kill the war mammoth, there's going to be a guy. They're going to come back. <laughs> it's going to be a big fat naked and guy. They'll, they'll be like, "Yay, we won!" And then they'll see him, and he's like waiting, wide-eyed, <laughs> excited, and like someone's just going to shake their head, and then they're just all going to massive like group hug him, and he's just going to be oh. sobbing. But no victory today. That's oh man, he's going to be super, super sad. Oh, and then someone will say, don't worry, you can tr train another one. Oh. And then that'll just make him burst into tears. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. We'll get, yeah, Throg, he'll try his best. Like, we'll just get you a new war um, mammoth. He's like, <laughs> Shrunky. <laughs> he was my favorite. <laughs> uh, oh, sad. Sad times. Yeah, so do you, do you want to be that guy, Ben? Yeah, because that, all that stuff's going to be happening to your guys. Oh shit, you're right. Fuck. That's just going to make your victory even sweeter. <laughs> all the sweeter. Revenge is a dish best served to your opponents. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> shit, I'm trying to do fucking commerce here, and that isn't uh, what you're supposed to do. Don't go econ build with, um, with the Norse. They won't respect you, Tom. Yeah. How will your trolls follow you in battle if you're just sat there going, all right, boys, I'll raid in a minute. I've got to finish my paperwork oh, and my tax returns. The paperwork! Uh, they yeah. make you king, king of paperwork. Oh, my God. I feel like king of paperwork. <laughs> um, and places are unhappy. Fuck the bed. Fuck the bed. Wow, well, that's a pretty serious upgrade. Oh, shitting the bed. Here we go. Right. Doomkeep. Stop. Right. Okay, we'll be fine. Enter. Oh, not very noble. When a knight cheats in a tournament, it demands not only it demeans not only himself, but the very ideals of chivalric Bretonia. Oh shit. One of our most heralded knights has been caught uh lo hang on. Caught locking to himself. I don't understand. Oh, locking himself to his horse. Oh. Oh, preventing his dismount in the joust. Oh, my God. Truly, he brings shame to us all. Oh, who do you think that was? Was that the Templar? Or was that um, the other guy, Shilfroy, the saviour? I reckon Shilfroy, because he just got a horse, so he doesn't know how to ride very oh, well. of course. And... So they were all making fun of him and saying he didn't know how to joust. And he's like, oh, I'm really good at joust and I got my horse. And, uh, yeah, then... Um... I don't know. Probably his oh, horse went shit. and started trying to like fuck another horse, and normally a the Bretonian would like jump off their horse, but he was there stuck. Like, oh help! And it was just like, get down, Tilfroy. Just get off the horse. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's locked on. Oh shit. man! Well, I've just taken him off his horse as punishment. Oh, Tilfroy. When will you learn? Oh, and um, Green Knight. I summon you! He's here! 
How do you summon the Green Knight? Is there like a whole ritual involved? Uh, yeah, you sign a big green thing into the sky with a horse. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> a big green horse. And um, then he has like a Thunderbirds-esque montage of... Oh, but you never see his face, so his back's to the camera and he's like pulling his arm Yeah, around. yeah, well, it all gets like slotted on by like, um, you know... Unseen arms. Yeah. Like Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, it's that sort of that sort of angle. <laughs> um, oh. Wow, he turned up pretty quick then, considering. He's got like yeah, a very elaborate... Yeah, it's a really good system. <laughs> Guess taxes. Right, uh, okay, I want to build some Grail Pilgrims. Oh, man, Grail Pilgrims are fucking cool. Yeah. And I've just got the building that lets me do it. So, uh, oh, the Requellery. Oh, man, the Requellery is fucking cool as well. Oh, but it takes two turns. That's a pain. So I remember reading, like, the when they first brought in the, like, Reliquy and the Grail Pilgrims, mm -hmm. that, like, these guys follow knights around. And yeah. they, like, you know, when there's, like, a dead knight, they, like, jump on them and, like, they get, like, yeah, all the stuff. Yeah, they're so excited to, like, get a little piece of the knight that they, um, so they, they end up ripping the knight to death after he falls off his yeah, horse. Yeah, sometimes the knight isn't dead before they, like, start cutting Stop. off fingers and stuff to get a <laughs> ring and thing that they could yeah. put on their relic -y. And it's just, yeah, like... It's fucking dark, isn't oh, it? Oh, shit, like... I don't want that to happen to me. No, what a way to go. There's a, uh... I've got, like, the Balthazar Gelt artwork... Oh, yeah. And there's a zombie that really looks like he's just been kicked in the nuts. <laughs> oh, he's, ouch. Like, his arms are down, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a Sterland proverb. Ooh, tell me, Ben. Tell me of the Sterland Quick ways. Quick thinking makes for fast mistakes. Oh. As they say down in Sterland. Yeah. They're very impetuous down there. <laughs> yeah. Or cautious because of their proverb. Oh. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, no, you're right, actually. They don't want to Doomborn that shit. They want me to give them pottery, dyes, iron, marble, salt, and gold for their just trade goods. Man, I've got some fucking salt for them if they want any of that. <laughs> you feeling a bit salty up there in the north? My empire is uh, a sad empire. Is it an empire, really? Uh, it's snowy. Oh, that's nice. Um, I like the snow. It's not good, though. Right, uh, we could go for some snow. We haven't had snow in Bristol for such a long time. Man, really have not. I want to go sledging. Ooh, sledging. Yeah, and I want all the buses to not work because of one day of snow. Oh, shit. Oh, that'd be amazing. But you love it, how, like, countries that, where you get snow all the time, they're fine. They're prepared for this shit. But, like, England, where it snows, like, once every three years... Like, the whole country's brought to its knees by, like, three inches of snow. Because, like, we forget just how to deal with it every time. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, we we just fucking shut down. <laughs> but it works all everywhere, you know. If it gets too hot, the whole country shuts down as well. It's nuts. Uh, just how we conquered the world, I'll, I'll never know. <laughs> all of those, th I I don't know. We, we went to all those other places. They didn't have guns. Ooh. That was the trick, wasn't it? Oh... The, that guns really give you a fucking nice little bonus, don't they? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Nothing really quite shuts down a tribal uprising than just hundreds of guns. Right. Uh. Fight. Ooh, the troll field. What have you got today? Oh, you've got Trunky. Trunky. Trunky and the trolls and chariots and all that shit. I've got um, a whole big mess oh of an God. army. Are you defending? Is that a garrison? I'm, no, I'm attacking. Oh, but you've got two white mammoths. Where did you get the second army from? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they, I, I killed some dudes and they were like, yeah, we've got a fucking mammoth. Do you want it? And I was like, yeah, I do. I have no memory of the second it, mammoth. It, it was the more recent one. Um confederated some dudes or ah, something. I remember the Howder one, not the not the bareback one. Oh, well. Um, Wolfric the Wanderer and... Oh, it's a much smaller army. Okay. It's smaller, uh, but you do have um, garrison troops and you've got a fuckload of good marauders. Yeah, but... We'll see. I'll just try and kill some stuff. Yeah. You, I don't you, think you, I can beat you. So, don't kill main Trunky, but you can kill shit Trunky. <laughs> What's shit Trunky's real name? Oh, he doesn't have a name yet. You can name him, Ben. No. Because then you'll no. feel more attached to him when you kill him. <laughs> I will only get any satisfaction from killing him if you've named um, him. Okay, he'll be called... 
called Dumbo. He's okay. There's Dumbo and Trunky. Ah. Oh, oh! I've got a, the leader of the other army. He rides a chariot. That's cool. Oh, nice! That is cool. I like. I really like characters and chariots. There's something very stylish about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to, to cruise about the battlefield, uh, isn't it? Generally, a terrible way to cruise around the battlefield in gaming terms, but... Yeah, very few war games like make chariots good. Yeah, cause none of them work like chariots work. No, they, they, they have very limited rules to let you like kite about and avoid combat. Yeah. Which is really what they're for. Um, and also, most people just think of like scythe chariots. Yeah, um, like heavy hitting shock chariots, which which were actually not not super... very common. Oh, don't do it! Boop. Apparently, what? like in some battles, the Persians went out like a couple of days before on the battlefield and got like just chumps to go out there and pick up all the little stones oh. across the plains, so that when the battle started, like none of the chariots would like break their wheels or like get like flipped over because of like tiny, tiny little stones. Oh my god. That sounds the fucking worst. Oh, what a shit job, because like, there's going to be like horsemen and skirmishers and archers picking you off while you're moving stones out. Yeah, and especially like if one of those chariots does flip, like Ooh. you are going to be in so much trouble, because each person is going to be given like a designated area, I imagine. Oh, probably. So this is the Fae Enchantress I'm chatting up. Oh shit, oh man. She is bobbing around. My god, she's on like a, a space hopper or something. She's flying. No, well, you know how, like, in the little portrait in the diplomacy screen, yeah, yeah. So, like, they stand in the middle and they sort of, like, nod and move about a bit. She is, like, bobbing in and out of <laughs> shot. She's, like, literally, like, on a pogo stick like or something. Crazy fan enchantress. Ooh, she's so spooky. Spooky, spooky lady. Very Ooh. long. The rise of chaos. Dire tidings from the oh. north. Tendrils of chaos wreathe and reach out across the cursed waste, tainting the land and sowing dissent. Uh, this is a giant thing. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to actually do, so okay. um, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Go for I think it. chaos is coming. Right. Uh, Archeon's here. That's um, sort of that makes sense. the gist. Uh, right, what do I want to ditch? I don't think I need as many doggos. Doggos, you were, you were good for a while, but um, just... Search your purpose. Just fuck off. We're all the champions I'll keep. Uh, I guess I'll keep um, fucking uh, Dumbo. And I, I, I'm not that big a fan of chariots, I've got to say. No, I don't really know what they do. I don't understand them. Yeah. That's my problem with chariots. Are they shooty? Do they charge in? They just kind of seem to just fuck around and do not a lot. Yeah. So. But the chaos chariots, they seem really good. Yeah, they really. They just plow through regiments. Really Nothing super solid. Right, it's time for you to march. Kill some fucking beast men. Because that's eighty-one bucks is actually a lot of <laughs> a lot of bucks over here. Shit, dark uh, times. And where's super unstable, man? Everywhere's unstable. I hate it. Uh, who's the most unstable? Well, to be fair, they did quite like Wolfric. Well, he he lost Ben. Legend said he fucked a bear once. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he did lose. Do you want yeah. to follow a loser? Well, I guess that kind of shit flies in your country. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bam. Um, procrastinator. Leon Lyonker, apparently, fuck, by spending multiple separate turns in a settlement you control, I get minus 20 chivalry, plus 5% enemy hero success, and minus 10% campaign movement. Oh my god. But I moved him last turn. Old lazy Louis Leonka. Lazy Louis. He spent, he's moved every turn, but I've moved him from settlement to settlement to keep the um, healing up. Can you uh, rename him to Lazy Louis? Uh, well, he's a legendary lord, so probably not. Oh, lazy but Louis. That feels so unfair. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... Where's the rename button? No, no, it can't. Oh. We we'll just have to remember. Lazy um, Louis. So Raiders have ventured far and now bring back unexpected tidings. Deep in the deserts of the far south, they found strangeness as well as plunder. They speak of death that is not final and of walking skeletons. <gasps> creepy, creepy skeletons. And they have returned with most unusual prize, a crown of gold, 5,000 bucks plus 10 public order. Oh my god, five, you just got a random 5,000 bucks of it. Oh my god, fuck. Yeah, but I've had so many minus 10 armor, minus 10 <laughs> weapon attack. But holy shit, that, wow. that crown is going to sort out my fucking empire so hard, Ben. Who have you sold it to? I think I'm wearing it, 
and walking around <laughs> and just being like, oh, I'm a fucking troll. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, fucking beast, man. They've escaped. And that's making all the Vermeer turn up because they I like your so. golden crown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, that means I can tax everyone. And I'm now on plus. I'm on positive money. Wow. Which, that shit don't happen. Um, oh, I'm not actually at war with the beastmen who are hanging around in my lands. Really? So I guess I'll leave them to it. No, I'm not at war with them either. Are they the blue banners with the black skull? Uh, blue banner, yeah, with like four horns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're in my lands too. They're just kind of jerking about. They steal like, they're stealing like fucking pies from windowsills and fucking my dogs. Uh, okay, so it's all like, you know, white, white raiding. Yeah. Oh my god, maybe a really bold one is having a go at a mammoth. Oh, maybe like five of them in a trench coat. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> They've all kind of like made like a sort of like Trojan mammoth. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> they take turns sticking their dicks out. I think their whole, their whole face, their whole body goes in. Oh my, oh my like god. one of them is the dick. If you see what I mean. Oh shit, man. And the others hoist him up and thrust him in. <laughs> so if you are in Warhammer Fantasy, mm -hmm. what stats do you reckon you'd have? Oh. Um, the same as a goblin, but but worse, but less sneaky. Less sneaky, what, so, like lower initiative? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like initiative two goblin. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, what would I be good at, though? I don't know. None of the stats in Warhammer, like, represent my skills. I'd have uh, to have a special rule on ooh, top of my stats. What would be your special rule, then? Um, uh, if I was, oh, I don't know. Oh, because I always run a big economy, right? That's how I win these games. Okay. Like, when I'm playing single player, I don't win through, like, making the most of my troops or doing clever battle maneuvers. I um, I have more money than anyone else. Oh, okay. And I just send wave after wave of men at them until oh, I win. Would it be a bit like... Um, so I'd get more points. I'd be Mar like... Marion Berg in more time. They started out... Normally you had 500 gold to build your warband, but they had 600 gold. Yes! That would exactly be it. So, like, I would... My... My model would cost like negative three hundred points. Oh, so you'd okay. have this like pointless guy who was shit, but you got to have more stuff in your army. Oh shit! Oh, although I don't think that works, Ben, because that is really, really good at the beginning. Yeah, but not at the end. Oh, I, yeah. I'm not saying I'm good. I'm just saying that's me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I think there's there's like a logic a logic to that. Um. I feel like I'd have very comparable stats. Yeah. Um, you are taller. That's so that's true, maybe but I don't plus think one movement? I don't but in turn I'm, I'm not I'm not the quickest. <laughs> no. The uh, nor nor the stamina. Yeah, exactly. Um you know, I think years years of abusing my body um means that I'm not 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 the guy for you know, speeding around. Mm. Um understandable. So I feel like I too should have a special rule. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise you're just a really, really boring stat. <laughs> yeah, uh, just a just a common goblin. Um, wait, weren't were common goblins? Were they initiative two? No, they were. Um, common goblins were leadership six instead of five. That was their like little perk. But they they traded because they were the same point as night goblins. I'm they had light armor as well. Night goblins were initiative three. They were quicker. So yeah, what? But common goblins were initiative two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So I guess we would have common goblin stats. I imagine I'd have better, better leadership than a goblin, a common goblin at least. Really? You wouldn't just flee at the first sign of trouble? I guess it depends. If I'm there with a bunch of my mates, and we've all got spears, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I'd have a jab at the scary thing. So you, you, you're saying you'd have, like, the Skaven rule of as long as there's a lot of you, you get a leadership buff. Yeah, yeah, I reckon I reckon so. Yeah, the, the, yeah I think, like, the UI is definitely better in um, number two. There's oh, a, fuck! What? After many hours of toil, the coffers worth of coin have been poured into the restoration of the Grail Monastery. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you for your donation. Um, plus 25% research rate, minus 2,000 gold. Oh, I just fucking took two grand out of my bank account without asking. Thank you for the donation, Ben. <laughs> I think you'd like made some payment 
and there was like just a tick box at the bottom. And you're like, oh fuck it, yeah, sure, oh, oh yeah, sure, yeah, I'll round up to uh, to give to charity, yeah, have, whatever. Have the have your donation, and you were just <laughs> buying like you know, um, you know, like a Snickers or whatever a French version of a Snickers is. <laughs> Lisnock. Lisnock. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sacre bleu. <laughs> Ooh la la. Lisnock. Lisnock. Oh my god. That is one expensive Lisnock. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. So yeah, you're just right. buying a Lisnock. I don't even fucking know what I was talking about. <laughs> Lisnock. That is so good. Oh. Can you so can you change one of your characters to like be called like Lady of La Snock or something? <laughs> sure. Uh, but I've got this. Yeah, I've got Jean Clemento. Um, Jean Claude. La Snock. <laughs> Le... Snock. <laughs> From the Great La Snock House Line. <laughs> Bam, done. Oh, I love him. He's here. Oh, he's my favorite guy. <laughs> Don't kill him. Fucking La Snock. <laughs> Shit. I wanna I wanna go party with La Snock. Decent melee combatants, armor. weak against armor. Still, I that still bothers me. Yeah, every time. At some point, someone in the YouTube comments wrote a fucking article about, well, actually, pistols were terrible against ar armor. And I was like, oh, fuck. Were they? I don't know. It feels like a gun is pretty good against armor. <laughs> yeah. Everything I know about guns. <laughs> Maybe they didn't have a lot of charge in them. Maybe that they might like be it. pea shooters. But I, I'd still... You know, if you had a choice between getting shot in armor or shooting at a man in armor, I would I would want to be the guy shooting at the man in armor <laughs> every day of the week. Yeah, it yeah. feels like right. You get armor um, and a sword, or just a gun. That's it. But it has to be an old timey, an old timey kind of pistol. pistol. Oh shit! Actually, fuck. I don't know. I don't know how to load one of those. Yeah. Like if it misfires or just goes. Pfft. Oh fuck! Like what do you do? Uh, I know you've, you've, there's something involving powder and a fuse and a flint. You know, I actually, I, I kind of know enough Napoleonic law and <laughs> yeah. um, of what's enough sharp. I reckon I'd have a good go at you reloading a You reckon you could fire four shots a minute from your wow. black powder pistol? Is that uh, what you're saying? Maybe not that many, but <laughs> might, uh, it was more that give me like half an hour and I might be able to reload it. Okay, but there is a man with a sword. He's coming at me. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, I don't know how many seconds you have, oh, not but I can probably count them on like my hands. Oh, not fucking sword man. That guy sounds like an asshole. I think I'm, I'm going to be... Ch I'll be sword man. You can be pistolo. Pistola boy. Pistola boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this... this I'm, I'm kind of now starting to want to be the the, the sword guy instead. <laughs> right. Pistola boy not sounding so good. Pistola boy sounds a bit fucking shit, to be honest, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. uh, to be honest, he's not got very good branding. He's got terrible branding, Ben. <laughs> really bad. Like, I imagine him wearing little, like, red tights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's not he's not a cool dude <laughs> by any means. <laughs> but his fucking sword guy. Sword guy. <laughs> he's, he's the fucking one. Fucking sword guy. What a hero. Uh, yeah. You're not, not so good. See, like, I don't know a huge amount about, um, you know, I'm not sure if I could reload that gun, but I'm pretty sure I could fucking stab someone with a sword. <laughs> yeah. I think that's quite self-explanatory. If, if it came down to it, I could probably figure that out. Yeah. Like, you know, that's the, that's a crash course that, that you can just, like, you know, learn on the night. Go get him, Dumbo! No! Which one's Dumbo, which one's Trunky? The, uh, Trunky's got armor and is fucking cool. <laughs> right. Dumbo doesn't, and everyone hates him. <laughs> right. Good to know. It's important to know where you stand as a giant elephant. That's probably the easiest way to remember them. Dumbo fucking sucks. Dumbo fucking sucks. Okay, how's, how's this all going? Right. Dumbo, get in there. You're a fucking pro. I mean, I hate you. <laughs> but just be pro right now. Just just be pro just this one time. This one time in your life. Just fucking do something. Oh, yeah, he's stamping on some guys. That's kind of all I all I really want from him. So I don't have a horse. It wasn't meant to be in a battle, really. Um <laughs> Oh shit, so you're like the guy. 
from Game of Thrones that goes, he's in the Night's Watch and he goes up and down the land bringing people to the wall, right? Oh, right, yeah, no, because literally he was the guy who recruited the Grey Knights and then walked them back over to Leon. Yeah, you're just like sort of I'm like the, the quartermaster. Yeah, I just walk around like I'm logistics, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is basically you in the Bretonian army, the logistics oh, guy. Oh, it is me! <laughs> oh, no! And I'm up against Emperor of fucking Carl. Carl. Hey, Carl! Hey, Carl, I challenge you to a duel. Come and meet me and do some very hard sums. We shall see who is maths champion of the Warhammer world. Are oh, you cheating again? <laughs> Just I, I, I had a snock. Are you you had a snock? Mmm, delicious snock. If you are ever in a duel, <laughs> I need you an need extra quick bite. <laughs> Eat la snock. <laughs> la snock. A la snock a day helps you work, rest, and duel. Right, <laughs> sure. It's annoying you can't do agent actions while you're sieging a place. Yeah, that always sucks. So you have like... to undo the siege. And then, then send the man in. Um, yeah, assault garrison. Failure, of course. The snock fails again. Oh, the snock. <laughs> and then back on the siege. If anything, that seems more suspicious. <laughs> yeah, like, know, right. Instead of a guy like sneaking in in the middle of the night, you know, everyone's going to be on high alert because the siege is going on. Yeah. But if the siege suddenly <laughs> drops, the, the army moves away, and you're like, oh, that's good. A guy comes up, knocks on the door. It's like, oh, can I come in? And they're like, yeah, there's no siege on. <laughs> that's fine. And then immediately the siege restarts. <laughs> And they're just like, wow, mate, you're really lucky because we would not have let you in otherwise. <laughs> and suddenly, you know, their their houses catch fire. <laughs> yeah. 30 men murdered in their beds. Exactly. Just what a what a crazy system and they then have. He can't be seen again. And then the same thing happens again. <laughs> but yeah, the following day, it's just like, what? <laughs> the Warhammer world's a weird place. Oh shit, imagine, like one of the border princes, all the border princes, they just formed this kind of weird border prince cult, they just started worshipping chaos, and actually they're here to fuck us. Oh. Like, that would be a cool storyline. Yeah. I like the idea of like, because the border prince armies are meant to be always like a fucking mess. Like Yeah, they're just kind of like ragtag group of mercenaries and stuff. Yeah, they? and just random, like they're all kind of empire themed, but each one's just done in a completely different style. A bit like the armies the AI builds. <laughs> yeah. One border prince is like, I want to have 50 units of pistoliers. <laughs> and they're like, oh shit boss, I'm not so sure about that one. And he's like, 50, 100 units of pistoliers. <laughs> we should oh. be a nation of pistoliers. Um, so let's siege him up, see what happens. War Toddy, you've got a bit of my cup. Give it back. Oh, poor Toddy. We were, we were friends over our hatred of trolls. <laughs> but he wouldn't give me my cut back. He said it was some old Sigmar Ulrich bollocks. <laughs> oh, shit. He didn't call it a He Sigmar. said it was Sigmar's um, jockstrap cup, not the top top of my, my cup. Oh, Trog, you're here. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How, how are you? Are we just like high fiving over the toddy spit roast right now? I'm just hanging, hanging out here. Are you just hanging, or are you? Have you got a nefarious purpose? I'm always doing a bit of sneaking. I'm gonna sneak over here though. <laughs> okay, you sneak over there. <laughs> um, shit, I was trying to like do some, seeing if I could get some diplomacy with old uh, toddy. Uh, that we could somehow work together to fight the evil Bretonian scum, but. He, you're, you're a gross troll man. I'm a <laughs> gross troll man who d can barely talk. Okay, right. And he was just like, what? <laughs> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> we hate trolls. Who let you in my palace? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. So oh, didn't. shit. I'm busy fighting horsemen. Yeah, there's horse horses. Oh, Toddy. Toddy wants peace. He says... This fucking troll came up to me. <laughs> I don't really know what he was he saying. He just gargled some bile at me. <laughs> I think we should kill the troll. Oh, shit. Um, okay, Johnny, can I have my cup back? No, it's Sigmar's fucking jockstrap, apparently. Oh, it's codpiece. Sigmar's codpiece. 
It's not! It's the magic cup! <laughs> it's the magic cup. We're gonna drink out of that later. Stop wearing it! <laughs> yeah, it's gross! <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of cleaning before we can drink out of that. <laughs> or should I do it in Lusnok's war correspondent's voice? Uh, I want Lusnok the war correspondent. <laughs> right. uh, bonjour! This uh, war correspondent's news is brought to you by Lusnok! <laughs> It helps you work, rest, and duel. <laughs> wow, nice. <laughs> now, I have the Chaos Army's Haragoth Hubbersnacker. <laughs> He's about to down to Kislev. <laughs> I, I heard, uh, Lesnok, Les um, is, is it true that you're going to do an interview with Havasgard Hockersnacker, or whatever his name was? I intend to, but he's not answering my calls. I'll <laughs> chase him and see what happens. <laughs> Perfect. You do it, Lesnok. I'll, I'll keep you posted, but he's quite the ruffian. <laughs> uh, he, he asked me where my accent's from. I told him I'm a European. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say to that, Lesnok? <laughs> He said it's outrageous. <laughs> okay, Lesnok, you seem to be breaking up right now. <laughs> well, please uh, get back to us when you have more news. I will. I keep you posted with the chaos war. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir, Lesnok. Au revoir. Oh my um, God, Lesnok! What a guy. What a guy. He's going in for the interview and. Critical failure! Critical failure! <laughs> Harris Buck did not want to do the interview. He has stabbed me I'm in great pain. I shall retire back to uh, Britannia now. I, back to Europe now. Back to Europe. <laughs> Au revoir! Au revoir. Oh shit. Bad interview. Oh shit. There's a, there's a little observatory down here with like a giant brass telescope. Ooh. But it's clearly just for perving on Statue of Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like at the moment they've got it pointed out to the sky, but I'm sure every night when the lights go off. Oh, oh my god, that is a big fucking stack. Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> go look at the the, the the thing by the center. The uh, the the peep the perv, the perv Oh, hut. oh you can see. Wow, that is a cool cool telescope, but they clearly are just yeah, <laughs> looking looking at that guy. Just checking out Sigma's abs. Oh man. Oh, Abmar, so good. they call him. Abmar. He snores and he eats all our gobbos, but that big lug is Andy in a fight. An orc warboss talking about their giant. Aww. What a, what a guy. Aww. Oh, that big lug. Aww. We look, he, he's stupid, but he's all stupid. Oh, he's, a, we look, he's good, really. <laughs> yeah. Man, my fucking wizard. One guy, <laughs> that like charlatan. <laughs> He, he doesn't there. look like a wizard, does he? No, he just looks like a tramp. <laughs> yeah, fuck. He's just... Uh... Although all the other guys have eye patches. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Toddy and both captains. <laughs> Is it just a fashion statement? Because Toddy's got an eye patch, everyone else like puts on an eye patch. I, I think there's some fucking awful game that they play in like their gentleman's club. Which, uh, you know, you're very prone to losing an eye. And as soon as you've lost one, you're not allowed to play anymore. <laughs> right. Ah, Lesnok, he return. Oh, Lesnok. He attack, he protect. <laughs> <laughs> he, Lesnok. He, Lesnok. Um, yeah, what the fuck is Lesnok up to? He's looking for trolls. Is he back in... Um, Can't see any trolls. Is he back in the Empire again? Yeah, he just back respawned on uh, Middenheim. Oh, the beastmen have got on boats. What? Boatmen? Their, their boat is weird. Is it like a load of branches? It's like a, a narwhal with sticks on the back. What? It looks fucking weird. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Fucking narwhal beastmen. What is up with that? I've never seen a beastman boat before. <laughs> no, nor have I. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bishman, Bishman. I kind of, I kind of want to come in and see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm coming into your room to see. Oh, okay. Wait. Um. Oh no, wait, wait till your turn. Then you can start diplomacy. Yeah. Oh no, here we go. I've got diplomacy now. So if I hold on the screen, you can come in and not like miss your turn. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> right, you ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me see. Uh. What the. F Look, it's like a little narwhal what with a fuck? thing on his back. <laughs> when, when did that ever be a thing? 
Oh my god. They just like were hanging around by the shore raiding and then they were like, Oh look at that. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, well. Let's, let's go and ride. So it. they they got some some goats that they'd like fucked and eaten half eaten and dangled them in the water and this weird rancid <laughs> narwhal came up to eat the goat and then they strapped all this shit to his back and went on a party. I love it. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Best Oh my god. Best boat ever. I, I need to take a turn. <laughs> yeah. I hope you didn't have a lot to do. I'm back. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, that fucking narwhal. <laughs> what the shit was he up to? Could you kind of not believe me? I, I just didn't really know what what to expect, Ben. Oh, I'm holding a feast. Our artisans seem grateful. Not that anyone cares if they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Plus 20% income from industry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of assholes! <laughs> um, um, good for them. Um, and they've got their long rifles. They've got, oh. they've got, they've got snipers. I, I always really liked the the Hockland long rifle snipers. Like they're really, cool. really kind of cool, cool style. Although I wouldn't like to be the Hockland long rifle guy who has to ride on the old Empire war wagon. Oh, yeah, because that's bumping along and there's a guy with a flail. And yeah, a <laughs> there's a flail guy, a dude with like a blunderbuss. I think one of them has like a hand mortar. Um, yeah, he's got like, oh, there's just, it's fucking every single wacky weapon you can think of yeah. all crammed into one Every box. province had to send one like elite guy to stand in the top of the war wagon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the guy with the, the sniper rifle on the bouncing, bumping cart. Um, yeah, where half of you guys wanted to get into close combat. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, guys, please. I work I'm so good at range. I'm really not good in a fight, like, close up. And there's the guy with the man catcher going, <laughs> yeah, yeah, get him, boy! Let's get in there. <laughs> Wanna catch me some bands? <laughs> and, yeah, fuck, like, just really, um, you know, really sucks to be sniper. Sniper boy. It sure boy. does, yeah. I always thought the machine gun guy was the coolest guy. Oh. I've got a horrendous music loop. I've, oh, stop loading. It's driving oh, me no. mad. Maybe when you load in it will work. Yeah. Because you're the host. Oh my god, you need to hear this though. It is the sound of insanity. <laughs> what is it? Describe it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But with like a sinister violin. Oh. Oh, and other music playing in the background. <gasps> I think that's like the music of the harpies. It is. Oh my god, they're coming for me, Tom. <laughs> oh shit, watch out. The world, the world is under. If you meet any beautiful flying women, <laughs> just be on your guard. Just say no. no. Well, there's a chance. Well, you don't want, like, if they are a legit oh, beautiful flying woman. They might woman, be a beautiful flying woman. Then you don't want to, like, miss that opportunity. I know, that doesn't come around very often. <laughs> but I'm just saying sometimes could be a harpy. Mm. I mean, what's our ratio been so far? So far, I think it's been 100% harpies. But well, so we're due some actual flying exactly. woman anytime I'll soon, right? Exactly. I'd say <laughs> the next one should just be a regular beautiful flying woman. Well, there's a spiky house here. A spiky house? Yeah, there's just like this barn that's covered in spikes. Who lives in the spiky house? I don't know. Let's do some investigating. Um, it looks like a generic Skyrim cottage. Yeah. With like a little... Um, workspace at the front. God, yeah, actually, it looks like one of those places in between towns where you'll find, like, a witch or something. Oh, okay. Um, oh, it's a nice battlefield. And, you know, plus you get that, that sweet chopped wood. Oh, okay. I see. Do you see all the random spikes? Yeah, what's the... Why have they got so many spikes? <laughs> Are they worried about, like, flyers? That, oh, my God, they they sometimes hear the music. The music of the, <laughs> of the, the harpies. Are these harpy ben. spikes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to stop the harpies making nests and shitting uh, on their roofs. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want like harpies like nesting on your roofs. <laughs> just pissing through the, the thatch. Um, yeah, holy oh, shit. Gross. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these guys to the cleaners. Oh, my God. It's going to be so good. Oh, thank you very much, Manfred. I will take that 10,000 gold Oh my gold god, piece. fuck. <laughs> Fucking Bretonians. Oh my god. Fucking bullshit. Oh man, just as I was saying it, he needed some big bucks. There it is. And he just gave it to you. Manfred was just like, please don't hurt me again. <laughs> just not anymore. <laughs> take your knights away. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Fuck me. Hey, you smelly troll man! I, I carve off your smelly troll face like I did in the city. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that's what I, th I think of you. Oh, uh, uh, you suck. I'm a troll. You, you call yourself king? I'm king of everything. You I'm are. I'm the king. King of being lazy. You suck. Am I right? Look, just me taunting you has eroded your leadership. Oh. Oh shit, you're cheating! <laughs> Get in here, you cowardly king! He's both cowardly and lazy. My, my taunts, they get to you! I know you feel sad! You know, I know you feel your shame! Bring it on, you, you PU55Y. I come for you! Come. Ah, oh, caca! Wow! Oh, owie! Uh, bleh! Bleh! <laughs> <laughs> He gave you a little vomit. Oh my god. No, no vomit for you. I chop you with my Fleming sword. Shit. And Beaky. Oh, no, your hammer is strong. Your hammer's strong. God, but you are fucking doing it, man. Oh, yeah, I'm pulling ahead. Like and here we go. Here comes the debuff. That's my kingly sword I won in a quest. Oh, shit. So many particle effects. I think, I think you've got it. Look at me, I glow with an ancient light. You may be big, but I am more better. More killier. Shit. Oh, Throg, you failed me. You were supposed to be the chosen one. The chosen of chaos. But instead, you're the bad one. You're the chosen of Lamos. <laughs> chosen of Lamos. Quick, hide in the Doomborn village. <laughs> If you just is get... that the town where the Doomborn died? I think so. I think further up the hill is where we had the Battle of the Doomborn. Oh, he's dead. Oh, blam! Oh, God. Um, well, yeah, bam. Until next time, thank you for joining me, Ben, as always. Yeah, thanks for playing. And see ya! Boy! I made the Holy Grail. I'm the one true king. Oh, you are the one true king. Congrats. Thanks, man.